What is up, ladies and gentlemen? So my name is Afan, and today we'll be watching episode uh, two. Yeah, two. Episode two, season three, chapter three, called the Headband. I have a recap of uh, episode one written down here. So instead of looking up there to the actual episode, I was looking down here to the previous one which will also tell me which number episode this is. But anyways, yeah, a little bit about the last one. So we saw a little side-by-side -side comparison between Zuko and Aang, which is something we have seen before. It's not the first time we're seeing it. We have seen this a few times before, and it's it's kind of, it's actually kind of good. But this was the... I think this was... The, actually like the first time where we we didn't just get a side by side we got like pretty much exactly the same thing like Zuko this entire time what has he been saying I need to get my honor back I need to do I need to redeem myself so on and so forth <laughs> that's exactly exactly what Aang says also I need to do this alone when Zuko I mean there's an episode called Zuko alone so it, it was brilliantly done which is great by the way if you want to see full length reactions, by full length, I basically mean watch alongs, basically. If you're not familiar with that, I'll put a timer on the screen, which will be in sync with the episode that I'm watching. And then you will sync your version of, you know, this episode with that timer. and We'll watch it together. There are no cuts, no edits, nothing like that. So that's what I mean by full length reaction. The video will not be there just like it is here, because if I f leave the full video episode in the video, I'll get sued, but potentially go to jail too. And and it's basically piracy, so I, I can't do that. That's just not allowed. It's illegal. So that's what I mean, basically, when I say full length. All right. So it's on Patreon. Link in the description. Check them out. I also do upload the movies earlier on Patreon. I don't really upload the shows early. So if you're into that kind of stuff, um, link in the description. Check it out. Anyways, then we also see him sort of running away. Again, Zuko alone. He ran away from Myro. So it was very, very good the way they did that. Also, we saw Azula. We've seen her before manipulating her way through situations as well, but in this particular instance, we are seeing a very deft touch from her. She's very careful with this one, and <laughs> I think I know what she's up to, but I'm not sure, and oh man, she's so good. She's truly going to be difficult to defeat, because she's not just powerful in the sense that she can fire bend and lightning and even the fire she uses blue but also she's got the smarts she's oh she's she's on another level katara's little moment with her uh, coda her father beautiful and i think it was done really well it was done really well and i could really relate to it and it it, it was done well what she's saying and what she's feeling contradict with each other and that's how it is. That's how it is in real life. And that's why I love that scene so much to the point where I was I was ready to start tear bending. But they cut, for me at least, they cut the scene a little short. If they'd continued it a little longer, I'm not joking. I was there. I had tears in my eyes, but they just didn't drip. They would have dripped. If they'd continue, just five seconds, that's all I needed, and I would have been done. <laughs> that, that's it, I would have been out. <laughs> but yeah, then at the end, they all come together. That was a really beautiful sort of frame, you know, when they all come around Aang, when he's at that volcano, even Momo and Appa and everyone finally comes to term with his uh, reality, I guess, Aang, that is. And it's just beautiful. We have yet to see Iroh. Uh, you guys know, huge fan of Iroh, and uh, I would like to see Iroh. It's something that's real, like, it's really bugging me. I I really want to see him, you know what I mean? And I haven't in the last one. Specifically, I want to see him facing Zuko. I, I just... Anyways, I've talked about that in the previous one and the one before that as well, so I need to stop. But yeah, I would love to see that. Hopefully we get it in this episode. Without any further ado, let's get into the episode. Book 3, Fire, Chapter 2, The Headband. This is Ba Sing Se? No, that's the Fire Nation. Was that the entire Fire Nation, that picture we got? Or is that like a certain city like Ba Sing Se in the Fire Nation? You know, because Ba Sing Se isn't the entire Earth Kingdom. Well, the entire Earth Kingdom is huge! Who's there? Well, that's not suspicious at all. If I was the guard, I'd be very suspicious. Leave below. I thought that... 
cloud was moving a bit unnaturally that because it is <laughs> great job with the cloud camo but next time all right they're disguised keep its mouth shut <laughs> hang up there and turn us in hey we're in enemy territory those are enemy birds <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Ang's arrow is disappearing. Until the invasion begins. Hiding in cave after cave after cave after cave. <laughs> we don't need to become cave people. What we need is some new clothes. Air Nation disguises will be just as safe as we would be hiding in a cave. Does anyone want to sit in the dirt and eat cave hopper? <laughs> there you go. Momo does. It's crispy like and crunchy. <laughs> I call the silk robe. And I call the suit. <laughs> ah, he's keeping a good watch, I see. Although he has no reason to <laughs> suspect foul play. The headband. There it is. Probably wear shoes, but then he won't be able to see his. Yeah. Sorry, shoes. <laughs> A stylish shoe for the blind earth. Just one of them? Do both. <laughs> Your mom's necklace. It's gotta go. Hmm. I'm not sure what a robe is. I thought I knew what it was, but that's not a robe. I, I don't think, at least. <laughs> she said she wanted to get the robes, right? I used to visit my friend Kuzan. Or is that... Is that what the robe is at the bottom? Isn't that a skirt? I, I don't know. I don't know, man. What do I know about women's clothes? Greetings, my good hotman. Uh, hi, I guess. <laughs> oh, shoot. I just realized her eyes were brown, wasn't it? I think it was. I don't know. I thought I was losing my mind, but I think they just made a mistake. See how they're brown here, but they're supposed to be blue? It's all right. It's a minor mistake, but I was like, what? How did her eye colors change? Hotman. Hotman? 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 Couldn't be more obvious that you don't belong here. Next time you play hooky, you might <laughs> want to take off your school uniform. <laughs> yeah. I thought it would be a misdirection, and it was. Really, you're from the colonies. Yeah, the colonies, of course. The Fire Nation colonies and the Earth King. Sorry, ma'am. Oh, okay. I'm like, what? Doors. Um. Ooh. Really embarrassing. Very well. What is your name? Or should we just call you Mannerless Colony Slaw? <laughs> uh, Kuzan. Kuzan. Mannerless Slob. I had a thought. I forgot. Don't let the headmaster catch you with that monkey. What monkey? The embarrassment. Tattletail, my name's Anji. I like your headband, by the way. Anji, you don't have to babysit the new kid. Wow. That's the bully, okay. About. That's right. Now listen, friend. And he's a bully, of course. Because obviously. <laughs> is my girlfriend. Don't forget it. Yeah. Yeah, cool. I don't believe it. He didn't beat you up. <laughs> <laughs> we were on our way to play hide and explode. Oh, hide and explode. Oh, lovely. <laughs> I enrolled in a Fire Nation school, and I'm going back tomorrow. Nice. Enrolled in what? <laughs> That's the best cover is in, um... Plain sight, right? Zuko. I'm going in for a visit. You're going to stand guard here, and no one is going to know about this. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. Whoa, what? They caught him? It's me. It's a me, Mario. Yeah. Fuck you. What did he expect? Like, oh, it's me. Oh, cool. Everything's good. Newt 
things about the Fire Nation. I already have a picture of Fire Lord Ozai. And here's one that I made. <laughs> Secret River, then. It goes right to the Fire Lord's palace. <laughs> oh, yes, you are. Let's stay a few more days. Okay. Lameo Hotman. Lameo Hotman. We could have returned together. You could have been a hero. This is painful seeing Iro this way. Bossing say, and you're a fool for not joining. Me. You're not going to say anything. You're not worth the energy. You're a crazy old man. You're crazy, and if you weren't in jail, you'd be sleeping in a gutter. The fact that you had to say that angrily means you doubt it. I gave to my country. With my hands, I fight for Fire Lord, Fire Lord. and our forefathers. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Since it's obviously hilarious to mock our national oath, we'll begin with a pop quiz on our great march of civilization. Noise. What year did Fire Lord Sozin battle the Air Nation Army? Nomads didn't have a formal military. Sozin defeated them by ambush. I don't know how you could possibly know more than our national history book. Unless Treachery. Uh, yeah, nah, he wasn't there. <laughs> Definitely not. Who's on? Yo, my heart started racing. I've heard that noise. And it's Iro's noise. <laughs> Iro's, you know. By our love for our nation, that we can't control our own body. That's what it is, yep. Kuzan, I really liked that crazy dance you were doing. Thanks, Anji. I can show it to you again if you'd like. Ah! Anji! Honey trash? You're gonna show her something? Just some dance movements. Nobody shows my Anji anything. <laughs> my Anji. <laughs> yeah, you have no idea who you're fighting against. It's on your second day. Bring your parents to my office after school. So he's rich too, or he's like Fire Lord something? Coming, Mr. and Mrs. I thought so. Wait. This is my wife, Sapphire. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Fire. Fire. <laughs> She's supposed to be pregnant? Is... And roughed up my star pupil. My goodness, that doesn't sound like our Kuzan. <laughs> it's... <laughs> it's just it's incredible seeing these people in different dresses and hair, and especially Katara. She doesn't have her loopies. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Headmaster. I'll straighten this boy out something fierce. Young man, as soon as we get home, you're gonna get the punishment of a lifetime. It's an awful color. <laughs> you're so beautiful when you hate the world. <laughs> Zuko. Okay. <laughs> What's the female version of Cockblock? <laughs> Let's not go. Oh, oh man. I hear you've been to visit your Uncle Fatso in the prison tower. That guard told you. No, you did just now. Yeah, there you go. Really? Nothing. Believe it or not, I'm looking out for you. We'll find out you've been to see Uncle. I think you're plotting with him. Be careful, dum dum. I don't know whether people will think that or not, but Azula's definitely thinking that for sure. To be normal all the time. Ha! Listen, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna throw them a secret dance party. Go to your room. <laughs> you don't have rooms. Go to your cave. Ladies and gentlemen, the Flamio. The Flamios. Dancing isn't something you think about. It's a form of self-expression. Maybe it was different in the colonies, Kuzan, but we don't do that here. Hmm. <laughs> A hundred years ago, this was known as the Phoenix Flight. Is he making this up? And this was the Camelophant Strut. 
<laughs> that looked so much like like a fighting stance. I feel like I've seen it before, do you know what I mean? I know you don't care for it, but I figure it beats prison food. The truth is, I need your advice. I think the Avatar is still alive. Forget it! I'll solve this myself! <laughs> oh, Zuko. You haven't learned anything. That's O -N G or something? Wow, they look pretty good together. Yeah, if that's what you like. Yeah, that's it. That reminds me of... Does it? The fire bending tech, I mean the water bending technique Katara was doing. Maybe it's just similar, I don't know what this guy's doing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dancing and fighting. All about choreography. <laughs> Lovely dance move. Kick to the face. Yeah. <laughs> He's a dancing party. Anytime, Headmaster, sir. Of course. This is incredible. It's like my inhibitions just dis <laughs> Okay. They're back in. <laughs> the boy with the headband. He's not the one. Looking for me? Yeah, okay, they're protecting him now. Okay, cool. I see. Yes. Nope, they're protecting him. Nope. Nope. I like how the music's still playing. Even though no, no one's playing anything. Do you need something? Yep. Are they all gonna get in trouble now? There you go. safe, Sokka. You can take off the mustache now. Oh, no, I can't. It's permanently glued to my skin. <laughs> I taught them to be free. That was some dance party, Aang. I thought... They just earthbended when they closed that thing and that guy saw that kid saw him. Was that a mistake? Say you're good at what you do. Better at keeping secrets. The Avatar's alive. I want you to find him and end him. The Eye of Sauron. Alright, that's the end of that episode. Alright, cool. So, it's a pretty good episode. We learned a lot of the Fire Nation. As well as how similar dancing and fighting can be all right so we finally got to see iro just oh not quite how i di i didn't really he was caught i don't know why i thought he was still on uh still free but he was caught in that cave thingy right in the last season last book whatever you want to call it so yeah so he's a prisoner still did not speak so we did not hear the new uh voice actor but we did see him fortunately that's not how i wanted him wanted to see him but it was very powerful it was very uncomfortable as well and it's very clear from from the way Zuko is acting around him, that Zuko feels bad, like properly feels bad, and he should. <laughs> but it's also good to know that Zuko, well, one that he feels bad, but also that he is kind of trying to make up for what he did, kind of like bringing him food and trying to talk to him and stuff like that. Another thing was it was really nice to see them in a different way, the the team avatar, because you always see him in the same clothes, same hair, same or lack of hair for avatar. But the same getup basically for all of them. And that's great. 
you know, they're, they're sort of representative of, of each nation or kingdom or whatever. Toph has her green look, Tak and Katara, her, their blue water tribe look, and Aang with his orange air nomad look. It's good to see them in a different color, a color that neither of them have used before. It's red, it's Fire Nation, but um, you know, it's one of my favorite colors. Blue and red, I love those two colors, so it was actually pretty good seeing all of them in that. Now, with that, I wrote a couple of things down. So Sokka, if I remember correctly, I don't know which episode, but in one of episode, the episode where he loses his boomerang, he says, it's like I lost part of my identity. Like if Katara loses her loopies, right? I even commented on that at the time. Or Aang loses his arrows. And it, in this episode, the both of them lose the loopies and the arrows, right? Aang is hiding his arrow and Katara has her hair a different way. They're kind of losing part of their identity there. That's kind of the point, though. They are disguising, so they are losing their identity. Not kind of, they are actually. Azula, still very careful each step she takes. That was very good, the way she did that, finding out that he's been seeing Iro. That's probably how I would have gone about it too. But that was very well done. Expertly done. Like I said, deft touch. It's good to see. Oh, embarrassment. That's another thing. Aang says that I have a scar that I'm really embarrassed about. And the teacher just goes, oh, in that case, you can keep the thing on, which is good because the teacher is accommodating the student and making sure that the student doesn't feel ashamed. But at the same time, I feel like if they were in a different nation, they wouldn't necessarily ask him to take it off, but they would try to help him overcome sort of his embarrassment and maybe lead him in a way, in a direction where he no longer feels bad about that do you know what i mean because they're all about freedom especially the air nomads i feel like if he was in the air temple obviously they won't like force him or anything but they would try to get him or sort of point him in direction in a direction where he no longer has to wear the headband because he no longer feel embarrassed i don't know that's just a thought that popped into my head let me know what do you think about that maybe i'm wrong about that but that's just you know, how I see specifically the air nomads. They talked about it. You knew you taught them about freedom. Airbenders or air nomads are very much about freedom, you know? So that uh, this is the scars and embarrassment. And that's, that's pretty much part of freedom. F being free of all these, I don't know what the right word for it is, but all these things that are holding you back, you know, freeing yourself of it. I wanted to talk about that. But the thing is, I wanted to talk about that, like right as they said it, but I just didn't want to. It's like, I, you know, I, I wouldn't have been able to explain myself properly because we were in the middle of a scene, so, so I just wrote it down. Here we are, dancing, fighting. Another thing I talked about it as well, it's all about cho choreography. It's not that different, uh, especially what they were doing. I mean, that was pretty much fighting. They were throwing kicks and punches and stuff. It was pretty much dancing. I mean, fighting, except they weren't actually hitting each other. That's pretty cool. They did earthbend there while leaving the cave and one of the kids saw him. So I think that was a bad move. I think the kid is going to come forward and talk now that he, they've realized that he might not be Fire Nation like at all. He's an earthbender, maybe a spy. I was thinking that as well. All these kids are in Sparty and they're having fun. All these people like him. They think he's pretty cool. But would they think that way once they find out that he is an air nomad? I don't know. I mean, I think they won't. That's pretty much the image that they have painted of the Fire Nation. But maybe they would be indifferent to it. I don't know. But I think most likely they won't. You saw the Fire Nation being very strict with the rules. Very disciplined and that's sort of the image we got from him and now that we are in the fire nation i mean it's still that you know so nothing really changed it's still very black and white a gray area of the fire nation has yet to be revealed we are very early on in the chapter or the book known as fire so i'm assuming we will see a lot more gray than red i should say and red and gold red and gold seems to be their color so or rather orange because of fire or is the gold or is that yellow because of the fire maybe it's yellow because of the fire but anyways it's not all red and yellow there is a lot of gray uh i i, I don't know i think we will see that you know just as we saw earth kingdom the first time we saw it and we saw all these soldiers and we saw earth kingdom differently before we entered earth kingdom and then in that book we discovered that well it's not all 
green and brown what's their other color you know <laughs> there's a bit of gray same thing with water tribe same thing with air nomads and i'm assuming same thing we'll see with fire nation as well i'm still holding on to the idea of iroh becoming the master firebending master for ang although he'll have to be broken out of prison is zuko going to do that because zuko like i said zuko does feel bad and he is coming and visiting iroh almost every day but i have a feeling azula at the same time is keeping an eye on him and if he does help him she will see him and then uh zuko is going to be in trouble again i don't know what i'm saying i just made a whole plot <laughs> just from pulling bullshit out of my mind i do that a lot anyways so yeah it's uh it's interesting so far team avatar is being very careful and very strategic which i like you know i like when they do that yeah share your thoughts in the comments down below whether you agree or disagree it's all welcomed just be respectful that's all i ask of you thank you to everyone who have been leaving comments even when you disagreed being respectful thank you uh, it means a lot and drop a like if you like the video subscribe if you're new to the channel and i'm doing a lot of different things like i said if you want to see the full length reaction or watch along rather it'll be on patreon all the movies that go on the channel go on patreon first then they come here so if you want early access you can do that on patreon as well and thank you for watching i'll see you guys next time until then have a nice hot man flamio flamio <laughs> anyways